Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and out the news in details. No amnesty for bandits, criminals, says Buhari. President Muhammad Buhari has downplayed the possibility of his government granting the amnesty to criminals and bandits. Buhari spoke on Thursday while declaring open a joint security meeting of the Northern State Governors Forum. Not on traditional rulers' council and delegations from the federal government, the president, who was represented by his chief of staff, Professor Ibrahim Gambari, warned that his government would deal decisively with all forms of criminality in the country. And Buhari said he has directed the security chiefs to evolve strategies on how to deal with all forms of criminalities. He said, I must appreciate the effort of the 19 Northern State Governors Forum for their contribution towards national growth and development, especially in this challenging period in our national being, where certain fundamental corporate existence needs to be frankly deliberated upon and actionable resolutions reached. At the same time, we are confronting the various dimensions of security challenges that continues to slow down the EMA of our people from poverty and economic deprivation. The government shall continue to deal with insurgents, bandits, kidnappers, and other criminals who constitute a threat to innocent citizens across the country. Criminals are criminals and should be dealt with accordingly without resorting to ethnic profiling. I have already taxed the new service chiefs to devise new strategies that will end these ugly situations where the lives of our people continue to be threatened by hoodlums and criminals. The Senate President Ahmad Lawam, who was represented by the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Ahmad Wasi, on behalf of the Northern National Assembly lawmakers, said the lawmakers would collaborate with governors to solve problems by evening the regions and by extension of the country. In his opening remarks, the Plateau State Governor, Governor and Chairman of the Northern Governors Forum, Simon Lalong, said the North had long way to go, had a long way to go in terms of education, health care delivery, infrastructural development, food security, industrialization, and human capital development, among others. Cardona State Governor Nasehe Rufai, while addressing the gathering, addressed the need for peace for the development of the regions and the country. Erufai said we need enduring peace and security to ensure that our people can prosper and that our state can develop. Amidst the fear and despair of the moment, we have a chance to offer hope and by hope the spirit of our people. Our people are looking up to us for solutions. We need peace and security in the North and Nigeria. We must discharge our duty as leaders to them by collaborating across all devices to solve the challenges that confront our regions and Nigeria. The Sultan of Sokoto Al Haji Sahad Abu Bakar III, who led traditional rulers from all parts of the north to the meeting, urged Northerners to be patient with the governors. The Sultan noted that the governors were trying to rebuild what had been destroyed in the north over a decade ago. He said he also said the traditional councils in the region would continue to defend the actions of the governors. Abu Bakr decried the Hamajiri menace in the north, which he claimed was poverty, poverty driven. So guys, what do you think about this? What is your own take? You know, this is this is just crazy, you know. All this thing that the president is trying to say is already too late, you know. It is too so late. You know, my question is that the people that died, can he raise them up? Can, you, can he restore their lives back? That is the things that we need to ask ourselves. Can you imagine now talking about uh, the safety of many Nigerians when he has not been doing anything about it? You know, he was saying that uh, we are confronting the various dimensions of security challenges that, co that continue to slow down the emancipations of our people from poverty and economic deprivation. Are they not the one destroying the economy? Our leaders are the one having more injury to what we have on ground. 
They are the ones destroying the economy already. So what are they now talking about? The poverty level in Nigeria, it is due to because of their non challenge attitude. It is because of it. When there is no job, how can the young ones get, how can they exist? How can they survive? And now they are just being crazy about it. You know, they were saying that government shall continue to deal with insurgents, bandits, kidnappers, and other criminals who constitute a threat to innocent citizens across the country. Come on. Is it now that they are supposed to be saying us all those things? When a lot of things are destroyed in the country, when people died in the process, when Edme Fulani kidnappers, when the, the Boko Harams, they are doing their own thing. The Fulani is raping innocent ones. And then the federal government are talking about trash. And also, enough is enough. President Muhammad Buhari is just there, figure headed. It's just there. Maybe he's happy with the whole things. He's happy with what is going on on ground right now. They are just there, redundant, not doing anything about what is going on. This is crazy. Their conscience is already dead. So guys, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comments. Have a comment section below for those who subscribe. We want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. And if you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload this, of course, you will always be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. God bless you for always being there for us at all times. We appreciate you. We say God bless you to you. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day once again. Stay safe at this crucial time. Bye.